All right, welcome back. Here's our GMC Sierra tweet of the night. Mike Byers, our friend for the Beaver County Times, although he's retired now, but he puts this up about Carl Ashman Stadium, known as the Pit in Aliquippa, is now the new Heinz Field as Kraft Heinz Company is making a $1.3 million investment. They're going to make it look nice down there. And, hey, why not, Jeff, for a team that and a program that has put more players in the NFL Hall of Fame than any other in the country? Yes, uh, that, that was awesome. I, I saw the readout of that. That was cool. You have to tell all of Mike Byer's story, though. You know the background of what he did in high school, right? Oh, yeah. Do we have time? So he was, yeah, <laughs> let's do it real quick. He was the fullback for Tony Dorsett. Right. How cool is that? And Tony Dorsett was not Dorsett. He was Dorsett. And until you become famous, you can move the accent and, you know, change your name a little bit. And he did. <laughs> and uh, it was great watching him because I went to Hopewell High School and I saw that stuff going on down there. It was pretty amazing. But Mike Byers had a long career as a writer. Uh, and he was good as a lead blocker, but better as a writer. So <laughs> congratulations, Mike. Wouldn't you like <laughs> to block for Tony Dorsett? I mean, like, how easy would that be? Well, I'd get pancaked. No, I'm not going to do that. There's a reason I do this. <laughs> I ain't going to do that. 412-575-2600. Let's go to our number one Cochrane Go One Better call of the night. We're going to go with um, John in Oakmont, who's our first caller tonight. Hey, John, what's up? Hey, Bob. Uh, I think a large part of the problem with the Pirates is their player development. Uh, what is John Baker doing down there? And these guys come up and they're not prepared to play the majors. Well, again, uh, development has been a problem over the decades it has, but, you know, we're seeing this is a kind of an interesting time you brought that up because there are some things going on right now with guys like Rodriguez, with guys like Henry Davis's bat, with guys like Palacios. You know, they're bringing up guys, I, I think, from what I've seen so far. Uh, Pagaro looks like a keeper, O'Neill Cruz. You know, Jeff, this is what you have to hope for. You have to hope all these guys collectively put together. Even Triolo, he's, he's kind of right. going back and forth with K's, but he's, you know, he's a guy who's developed in their system, although largely they haven't done enough of it, no question. You know, I, I think it's really magnified in Pittsburgh, but how many guys in the minors stick in the major leagues? I mean, think of all the minor leaguers. There's such a small percentage that stick and become regulars in, in the major leagues. It's just that here you count on so many of them and you follow the careers of so many of them because they represent guys that could be part of your system, where in other markets maybe just go and pick and choose you know, players from other teams. Uh, I, I don't think it's as bad as it might be let out. And if you watch the last, what, 10 days, they've actually you know, had some exciting plays, and you mentioned some names uh, that are showing some glimpses uh, in their first chance at the majors. Yeah, we've seen, though, glimpses, and you, you get kind of fooled about the glimpses and then they don't turn out or pan out the way you want. So it's got to be a sustained thing. Even with Keller, for example, how many years have we waited for Keller? And now he went through from May until this May, really solid stuff, some of the best numbers. And now I don't know what's going on. Do you have an opinion about why his game has fallen off so much? You can say a lot of innings, but he had more innings last year. Yeah, I don't think it's the innings. He's just inconsistent now with his stuff. I mean, his stuff isn't what it was at the beginning of the year. He could throw everything for strikes at the beginning of the year. It was amazing what he was doing. Remember he had that game that was, what, like an hour and a half long yeah. <laughs> or two hours long because, I mean, he was just right on top of his stuff. It's not there right now. I mean, you don't see the control. Uh, and I, I hope that the confidence isn't waning. Derek Shelton says it's not. Um, but you wonder. I mean, everybody gives up a home run to a Kuna. I mean, that, that happens to pretty much every <laughs> pitcher, it seems. Uh, and this is a good lineup, but, man, he gave up a lot of hard-hit balls again today. Yeah, that lineup, anyone could hit home runs in that lineup. It's one of the best lineups going in uh, baseball. Mike Vernon on Twitter hits us up, at KD Pomp, at Jeff Hathorn. Uh, Jackson was rolling along through the Braves lineup. Bednar is overworked right now. Shelton should have gone with Jackson to finish. I tend to agree. I would have started him in the night just to see, but, you know, again, I'm in an experimental time of my – uh, analysis of this team. I want to see more from people like that. Let's go back to the lines. We've got Dave in Verona who joins us, and he has an interesting question about a topic that we already brought up tonight. Go ahead, Dave. How's it going, guys? What's up? Hey, Dave. Hey, um, I was just wondering why you guys are so set on Henry Davis becoming a catcher when they didn't really draft him as a catcher. They draft, drafted him as a hitter. And personally, I'd like to see him develop in right field because it's nice to have uh, uh, an arm like that out there and also um what about rodriguez are we just gonna push him out or no there's a way to do both i think at this point 
And by the way, you're wrong about that. I would look back at a couple of articles that were, because uh, I wanted to make sure, they thought when they drafted him, and, and, I, and I thought, based on their comments, that this is going to be a guy who can give them a lot of power and a bat at a position that most teams don't have, Jeff. And, you know, again, they, all of a sudden, he's starting to play right field in the, in the minors, first base at times, too. Um, I just want to, he caught his entire career, or at least most of it, at Louisville, so... I don't know. It just seems to me that I, I yeah. would take this time. This time. You have two months, basically. Let's see what he got. And if he that can't do it, then he can't do it. Yeah, and, and listen, I'm not talking about splitting it equally. I'm not saying about, you know, sitting Indy a bunch of games. I'm talking about a game or two a week. Like tonight. I give him that opportunity. And, and Dave, I, I understand your point. I think he will be a right fielder probably in his career. Uh, but he has been a catcher. Ben Charrington said just a couple of months ago, we're keeping him in double A because we want him to learn how right. to handle pitching staffs better. We want him to catch. We want to have this two catcher platoon opportunity that can make things really interesting for opposing teams. So why not give him a shot behind the, the All right, we're due for a break. We'll take it. Come back with more right here. It's the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, Pittsburgh CW.